Welcome to the trade table. Today we are going to discuss how to remove refrigerant from mini split. We'll go over how to remove refrigerant from a mini split in detail, so you can be sure that your cooling or heating system is running properly and efficiently. Safety precautions for refrigerant removal. Before you start, make sure the power to the unit is switched off and that you have your safety gear on, including appropriate protective eyewear, a face mask, and gloves. Then, carefully attach the recovery tank and hoses to the apparatus you'll use for removal. Finally, when dealing with refrigerant, you must always wear protective gear and keep the area well ventilated due to possible fumes which can cause respiratory irritations if inhaled without proper protection. Choosing the right refrigerant recovery machine. For starters, you want to ensure the machine can effectively recover refrigerants. This means it should be able to handle different types of refrigerants and temperatures. Some machines are even equipped with built-in pressure meters and thermostats. Furthermore, consider the size of the machine's tank. If you plan on traveling with your machine, make sure it's lightweight and portable so that it can fit into your vehicle conveniently. Connecting the refrigerant recovery machine to the mini split system. 1. Switch off the mini split system and shut off the power supply. 2. Find the service ports on both the indoor and outdoor units, which should be labeled correctly. 3. Connect each end of the hose from your recovery machine to the correct service ports on your mini split system. 4. Once everything is connected properly, turn on your recovery machine and begin slowly, removing the refrigerant from your mini split system. 5. When all of the refrigerants have been removed from both indoor and outdoor units safely, store them in a container until you're able to dispose of them according to federal regulations. Evacuating and purging the system with vacuum pressure. 1. Vacuum pump. 2. Refrigerant gauge manifold set. 3. Nitrogen tank. 4. Hose for nitrogen tank. 5. Contact cleaner. 6. Insulated gloves and safety goggles. You can begin by connecting the vacuum hose to the low side of your system's manifold gauge. After this, use the gauge manifold set to evacuate any air or moisture in your unit's lines. You should be able to reach a vacuum pressure of at least 500 bar in around 20 minutes. Once this is done, use a nitrogen tank and hose connected to the high side of your system's manifold set and switch on the gas flow regulator valve so that a 7 to 10 bar nitrogen pressure is achieved in 10 minutes or less. When these two steps are complete, use contact cleaner and a brush on each component within your mini split one last time for sanitation purposes before reassembling everything and restarting your system. Disposing of used refrigerant responsibly. Step 1. Find and contact a certified technician. Find a certified technician who can come in and take away the used refrigerant. Evacuate the appliance and service the system safely. Step 2. Dispose of refrigerant at a local recycling center. EPA certified technician come in to recycle the refrigerant and dispose of it properly at your local recycling center. Step 3. Label your refrigerator. Make sure that you label your refrigerator with the manufacturer's name, model number, and serial number when disposing of the refrigerator so that proper disposal procedures can be followed. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this content be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you're looking how to remove refrigerant from mini split be sure to check out thetradetable.com the best resource online. Have a great rest of your day.